Hi, y'all. It's me. Well, it's a busy time of year for all of us, and I'm uh, I've been busy. Um, next week is Thanksgiving. It's also my mom's birthday, so I have to uh, had to make her something for her birthday. And she doesn't really like gifts. She mostly likes cash. So I try to think of innovative ways to give her cash every year. Um, I also made her a card. So those are what I'll be sharing with you today. And for the both projects, I used um, the die cuts with a view French country. Love this paper. I like want to use it for everything. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm so glad that I found some and I'm glad that I, yeah, I love it. So that's what I used. And then for the base of the card, I used this die right here. It's called Sizzix Ordinate number two. And this is really handy when you need a quick card. And um, actually, um, I got this at the Sizzix warehouse sale last year for eight bucks. Really good deal. So I used that. Uh, so let me show you the card that I made for my mom. Now, mind you, I'm not a card maker. I struggle very much with cards, but this is the card I made for my mom. I think it came out okay. It's not fabulous, but it's pretty. Um, I used some seam binding here that I got from Rini. Thanks, Rini. She's scrapstress here on YouTube. And then, um, let's see, what did I use? I used some flowers that I get from my dollar store. There are these these flowers here and they're kind of like a dusty rose and they're just gorgeous and every time I'm up there I pick up a pack just because I like them so much. Um, back here I used a Sizzix leaf dye that I got from Divine so that's from her. Thank you so much Divine and um, I punched that out and let's see what else I got going on. I got a little tiny butterfly right here not sure if you can see it, but that's used with this little punch that I have. And then I used the Martha Stewart um, sterling glitter just on the edges, just so it would kind of break it separate from the, the rose there. Um, this one here, I used a Nestabilities die, and well, I don't know where I put it, but I used one somewhere. I got stuff everywhere. If you guys could only see <laughs> my place, if I find it, I'll show it to you. Um, and also used for the word love you. I got it off of this stamp set here. And this is from TCP Studios um, called Greetings. So that's where I got that from. Here's the die actually right here. It's the labels five that I use for the back. And then I added some little pearls there um, in the background here. Another butterfly, another little flower. And then the word mom I punched out with these stamps here that I got from Laura who's Contessa Creations. She bought bought them and sold them to me so I was so happy. Um, and then I used this tiny punch to punch them out so you can see them here in the round. So basically that's the uh, outside of the card. Now what I did was I punched it out of the paper and then I punched it out of thin chipboard because I wanted it to have some body. The chip just the paper itself wasn't sturdy enough and I didn't want to use cardstock so um, I just use a thin piece of chipboard and then I use that same label on the inside and fussy cut a little piece of the paper out for the bottom here and I'll put my sentiment to her there. So that's the first thing I've made was the card and then next I made this for her and this is what I will put the money in. Ta-da! <laughs> This is, uh, I saw this somewhere a long time ago, and I don't even know where it was an idea like this, similar, but I, I don't know where I saw it. And anyhow, um, this is a styrofoam drinking cup, you know, the kind you get with the little plastic lids on them. And so um, I started with the cup, and I base coated it with this ceram coat here, which is territorial beige. And then I used a crackle medium and then used um, eucalyptus green color on the top. So it's got a crackle. I know you're not going to be able to see it because my camera's not focusing good today. But um, anyhow, I did that on the background and I used the, the paper here for the French Country Stack. Um, actually, this was punched out with one of Joe's Paper Dramas um, dies. I don't, I was looking when I got home, like, where the heck is this die? I can't find it. But then I realized, duh, it was hers. <laughs> anyway, so um, that was used here, the same stamp set, the same way I did the letters, same seam binding, um, flowers here with a little spray, flowers here with a little spray and the leaves. So everything is pretty much similar. 
put some trim along here and this lid was painted pink and I don't know the pink that I used but just a pink paint that I painted it with and then I made the cake um, using strips of paper and circles so I layer you know got a strip of paper made it into a circle and then added a circle punch out on the top covered everything with paper stacked them up added flowers and pearls another little butterfly over here um, and I added flowers all the way around the cake there on the top and the beads down the bottom are the same as well and then basically what I'm going to do is just open you can open this up and put your monetary gift inside or even a small gift if you wanted to try this for any other occasion so I think it came out pretty okay I'm happy with it and um, I don't know what my mom will do with it afterward I kind of tell her if she don't want it just to give it back to me <laughs> I put it on my shelf and look at it I appreciate it <laughs> so anyhow that's the card and the gift that I made for my mom and um, I'll probably be back soon I'm I'm busy making Thanksgiving stuff and then it's Christmas and birthdays and all that other stuff I've got to do yet. So, um, and I'm in a, a scrap, a mini album swap that I got to get going too. So anyhow, time to take a breather. My computer crashed in the middle of it all too, which wasn't fun and I'm rambling, but I'm just exhausted. So anyway, thank you so much for looking and I hope you enjoy these projects and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good afternoon. Bye.